What's up guys, today we're going to be showing you how to install Super ATV Soft Cab on this Honda Town 1000, so let's get right to it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is, if you have a roof, a windshield, whatever accessories you may have on your machine, you need to either leave the windshield on or remove it and then trim out the hook and loop after you have the soft cab installed. Um, if you have a flip windshield on your machine, what you would do is cut your sections around your clamps. With the roof, it's okay to just go ahead and remove it just to get it out of the way. Um, this machine didn't have a windshield on it, so we don't have to worry about going around our clamps or anything like that. If you do, all you would do is just fill in the gaps in between the clamps. So now that we've covered that, what we're gonna do is go through and clean our cage up. We have some denatured rubbing alcohol here. I'm just gonna apply it to all of the mounting surface on the cage where we're gonna have hook and loop fastener and just get this good and clean. Once we have everything good and cleaned up, we will grab our soft cab and lay it up here and start attaching hook and loop. All right, so now what we're gonna do is grab our hook and loop fastener Peel the backing off of the fastener here. I like to go ahead and start it right on the center of the cage. We're just gonna run it all the way to this point here. So once we get to this point here, we're just gonna go ahead and cut our hook and loop off and then go through and fully fasten our hook and loop all the way up to that point. We're just gonna go through and any point that we have a wrinkle or anything of that nature, we're gonna try to work it out. Whenever you try to make a bend, it doesn't always lay out the best. Another thing you can do if you just stuck it, you can peel it back up and then kind of readjust. Honestly, I think what I'm gonna do is right here where it makes this bend, cut it. I'm just gonna cut it right here. That way we can get this piece to lay down nice. Then we'll just take this piece and butt it right up. this and then any spot where it's ramped up like on this factory bracket we're just going to take a pair of scissors and cut a notch and tuck it down that's just going to make sure that we don't get any dirt debris or anything behind or on our adhesive that's going to cause this not to stick so if you don't have a windshield you're good to go. If you do have a windshield, if you had a clamp here, you would run your hook and loop all the way to your next clamp. In between your clamps, you just fill in the gaps in between your clamps. You're not gonna run your hook and loop fastener over top of your cage clamp. All right, so we have a rear windshield installed on our machine. So if we take our clamp, which we did remove just so we could get our hook and loop in, you know, a little bit tighter to the windshield, we're gonna run a piece from this point on the cage to the top of our clamp. So what I like to do is just kind of hold it up here, grab my scissors, and then just cut straight across there. So that way we have a perfect length piece. Then what we're gonna do is come to the bottom of this bung here, 
and run a piece all the way down to right here at the bottom of the bung for the cage. So now we have both our pieces made. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach them, feel the backing. Just like that. Feel the backing. Get as close to that as we can. Roll the windshield out just a touch. Run this down. And again, this is another one of those pieces to where you may have to trim it, you may have to cut it, um, just because of the bend. So like right here, what I'm gonna do, where it's kind of pulled out, I'm just gonna take my scissors, peel this back a touch, and just cut a nice notch there. So that's gonna allow us to get our top section of it to lay nicely, and then also our bottom section to lay nicely as well. And then where it's overhanging right here, what I'm gonna do is get a razor blade, utility blade, and just trim. Trim it, and then trim it out. That way it lays nicely. So now we're gonna grab our cabin closure. We're working on the passenger side. So we are going to grab the passenger side of the enclosure. Just start getting it kind of hung in place. So this isn't a full install here. All we're doing is just kind of tacking it up. Tacking it up, seeing where she lays out at. And seeing where we need to make adjustments. What we're looking for here is to be able to get all of our buttons on our soft cab, our snaps, to attach in the correct location. And we are pretty close, right there. So now we're just gonna, now we're just gonna overall look at the cab enclosure. Pull down on it tight just to kind of see where it's gonna lay out completely. And that looks about perfect. Um, that's how I like to set my cab enclosures up. Um, you know, anytime there's a contour bend in the cab enclosure, you obviously wanna make sure that you get that right on the bend line on the tube, on your cage, which we did. And back here, it's lining up nicely. Once we pull down and get our snaps in, it's gonna work out great. So on this cab enclosure, you have the option of running the hook and loop fastener on the door, on the door skin or the button. I like to use the buttons. Um, they're very easy to install and just personal preference. If you want to run the hook and loop fastener, all you would do is attach the hook and loop to the soft cab, mark out where it needs to be and attach it to the door skin. So what we're gonna do is take a paint marker whenever we're installing our buttons. Once we have our cab enclosure where it needs to be, and just mark all around. So now what we're gonna do is pull our soft cab down and firmly place it on our door. Hold it there for a second, then remove it. And it's gonna leave a paint mark where we need to put our button. So now what we're gonna do is go in the center of our mark and install 
our snap. So now we're just going to pull down on our soft cab, and get it snapped onto our button just like so. Then we're just going to go through and continue marking all of our snaps and installing our buttons to the machine. So good. Mm -hmm. Transitioning. Transgender. Yep. So now you can see that we have all of these straps along our soft cab. What we're going to do is attach all of these straps around the cage. It's going to wrap it around the cage and then secure it down tight. We're just going to continue this process for the rest of our straps. So now we're going to get in our kit and grab these and attach them to our zippers. You just slide through the zipper and then push these through like so. So it'll sit just like this. You'll do that on the inside as well as the outside. Slide through. Pull it over the top. Just like that. You can unzip it. Pull our inside zipper out. Same thing. Slide through. All right, so this is what you're looking for as far as adjustment goes on your cabin closure. You can see it's very tight. That's what you want so it doesn't flap in the wind, and that means you have everything adjusted properly. If you wanted to open the door, what you'd do is grab a hold of your zipper, zip it down like this, reach in, grab your door, you can open it up. Let's say it's a warm day out and you don't necessarily want your cabin closure on. It's nice weather. What you do is go inside, unvelcro this little pocket here, this little flap. What you do is grab your cabin closure and roll it up nice and neat and nice and tight down into the door like so. Take this flap, lock it over, and then fasten it 
back to itself. <clears throat> so now you can open and close your door. <clears throat> and let's say it starts raining, all you have to do, unbutton this, tuck your flap back in, behind the back side in between the door and the soft cam. Unroll it, grab a hold of your zipper, zip it right up. So once you have everything on and adjusted correctly, you're just going to repeat all the same steps for the opposite side. Once you've done that, that's all there is to it to install Super ATV's soft cab enclosure on this Honda Talon 1000. Be sure to check the description below for a link to pick yours up today. And while you're there, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.